Next up will be Alexis Noel from Mechanical Engineering speaking on Grip, Grab, and Groom Adhesion of Soft Biomaterials. Imagine you're on your first date. He takes you out to a really nice dinner and he asks, so do you have any pets? A dog perhaps? No, you say, I own a cat. Dread comes over his face. Apparently, he's incredibly allergic to cats, to the point of breaking out in hives. Looks like you're gonna have to make a hard decision. The cat or him? Hi, my name is Alexis Noel. I'm a mechanical engineer, and I'm here to solve the issue of cat allergies. Did you know 50 million people have pet allergies in the US, with cat allergies being twice as common as dog allergies? I'm sure many of you know, some cat allergies range from sniffles all the way up to hives all over the body. There are a few ways to help remedy these allergies. The first is to take an allergy pill once a day. The second is to spend $1,000 and get a shot once a week. Kind of painful. The third one is to drag your cat into a bath and, and give it a bath. Also very painful. So, <laughs> so what exactly causes these allergies? Well, the uh, villain in our little story is this tiny little protein called Fel-D1. It's found inside cat saliva and cat skin oils, and it somehow makes its way into all of the hairs of the body. But how it makes its way onto those hairs is a complete mystery. What we do know is that cats are the ultimate groomers of the animal kingdom. Unlike our smooth tongues, cat tongues are actually quite rough. They have tiny little barbs all over the tongue called papilla. Now, it's commonly thought that these papilla are used like a hairbrush, but what I found during my research is that they are so much more. Using CT scanning technology, a form of x-ray, I found that these spines are actually hollow. They look like tiny little scoops. Now here's the interesting part of the story. These tiny little scoops actually hold saliva. So very much like a paper towel in your kitchen, these tiny little papilla actually whip, wick up saliva, wick up fluid like this red dye experiment here. So that means when the cat goes to groom, it's distributing that saliva with that allergen throughout all of its hairs throughout its body. So now we found who the culprit is for these allergies these tiny little spines. But what does that mean for people with cat allergies? I'm currently developing an uh, anti-allergy brush uh, capable of pulling these proteins out of the fur. It is 3D printed, made out of silicon, and I created the tiny little hollow spines out of resin. And out of those spines comes a shampoo, a dry shampoo that can be applied, and it dissolves away the protein on the hairs. So hopefully this will be a pain-free way of reducing allergies and let you go out on that second date. Thank you. Thank you.